Good morning, everyone. It's Rita here, and um, my desk is, is somewhat of a mess because I was just pulling a bunch of things out to use in this journal, which is the um, salvaged finds. Um, I, um, I'm not sure what to put in it yet, but I'll go through this with you in just a minute. And um, so I just wanted to shout out to a few people and thank them for their comments and watching my channel and all that good stuff. So the first one is Scrappy Doodle. Um, I don't know if she has a channel. I didn't go there yet. Sometimes I try to run over and see, you know, if there's something that I would, you know, enjoy watching from their channels. Um, Karen Young, she, I did go over to her channel. I didn't, um, I'll see if I can find her link. Uh, she is absolutely the sweetest thing. Um, and she's doing, um, I, I, she hasn't videoed for a while, but it was uh, vintage, not vintage maps, Hong Kong map um, that she was using for her junk journal. It's pretty cool. And then Annette uh, Hendrickson. And um, she spells S-E-N at the end like I do, Jensen. And everybody wants to spell it O-N. But um, anyway, that's the deal. And then Friday... Um, I'll be doing the video for the prompts, and this um, month is Twal, which is, um, actually, I wrote down what the meaning is. Hold on. Um, okay. Um, twal is, um, they said, uh, it's cheap material, uh, so they could test designs, and um, but we know it as, you know, really cool-looking uh, vintage Victorian looking fabrics. But anyway, that's what they, what it was originally used for, the uh, toile. And then Peacock is the other one and frayed fabric. So if anybody wants to work along that, that'll give you, um, some things to pull out of your, your stash. Okay. So that's, uh, it for that part. And then I'll be do doing the drawing for the February giveaway in March. Um, like the first week of March or something. I'm not sure. I don't have my March uh, planner made yet, so I might do that this week. Okay, so I just want to keep working on this, and I'm going to do um, some ephemera, and um, I want to do some sewing around of these pieces, so some of these pieces, and so I'll stop the video, uh, do the sewing, and then we'll come back, and I'll try to finish up. Okay, so the front cover, I'm still in, um, I'm not sure what I want to do yet with the front. Um, I pulled out some of this color fa uh, lace, and I have this. Um, I've had, oh, and you guys, my nails. These are fake nails that I thought I'd give it a try and see how they look. Um, and decide if I want to actually go get my nails done. So anyway, I thought this was kind of cool because it is architectural looking. And, um, but I, I'm not sure yet. This is one that I got from Mary quite a while ago. Okay, um, so inside I haven't, oh, I was gonna do that yesterday, but I ran out of time. So I was gonna sew in, I think I put 12 pages um, in here. So, because I think it would get too fat by the time I put ephemera. So these are the pages that I picked out. I put a tab on here. This is a piece of vellum. Um, actually it's from this little book that I got. Um, and, uh, you know, it's like how there's so many, you would probably never get around to using them all. And, um, I saw this on Wendy's adventure. She was showing how to make, um, tabs and she used a piece of vellum and I thought well that's perfect I sewed that on uh here's another page this one already had a tab it's got the uh and I sewed that on so it wouldn't fall off it already fell off once this, the glue is all dried up from years ago there's a journaling page and then this oh this page here I'm not sure what I'm going to do I thought I would just put this in as a flip um that was my plan originally, and I want it to flip over and have something to look good on the side, and then I th that's where I was going to put um, this 
little notebook in here on the side. So you could still see through there. But then when I flip it this way, this doesn't look right. Um, so let's see, what can I do to work this out so I can get it worked out? I have this little guy that I made the other day when I was doing the notebooks after uh, the video. I just took a piece of this and I put a tab at the top and then it just um, slides in here, drops down. So I thought, well, maybe that might work next to that. So that's not so bad. I mean, really, when you pull this out, you're going to have this. And the only thing it doesn't have is anything covering that. If I went all the way over, hmm, I could stamp on the back side. Let me stick this in behind it and see how that would look. Just depends on what I would stamp. Yeah, I don't know. That was the thing with that pocket on the right here. Unless I do, I see, I can't really do a short, short pocket because my envelope's too big. Okay, I I kind of like this though. I am. Um, I kind of like this one <clears throat> on that, and this is plain. But maybe I can come back in because I thought I could put this guy going backwards, and he would show right there through that. But then I've got two birds. So maybe something else I could put back there. Okay, so I'm gonna leave that there. And this, I guess I'll just glue this onto the page. Um, yeah, I think that's what I wanna do. It's not really a flip. I could glue it outside of the page and flip it out. And then it, somebody, you'd have writing space here. And what would be on this side? Then I could put a tram or something here. Yeah, that would be a little more fun. Okay, I'll do that. Um, but then this is just going to be plain under it. what I'd put over that. I mean, I could just put a top. This is not supposed to take this long. Okay. Um, maybe I'll find another. That's not going in there. That's just a sample so I could see how it looked. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Here's this. That looks... That looks kind of cool. And then there'd be nothing out there anyway. And then what's on this side? Book page. Yeah, I think I like that. Because then I, I'll cover this up. So, let me get some glue. Hold on a second. Oh, it doesn't matter. I'm just looking. 
looking to see what this would look better. Because then it's already kind of decorated that way. This would go in here. That wouldn't be very good. Unless I put another tag in back there. Yeah, I'm just going to have to do that. I'm sorry, I just, um, I guess I didn't get this worked out. Was, uh oh, you know what? <laughs> These paint. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at, I got a dent in my nail. <sighs> but I like them. I mean, I like the look um, of getting my nails done. So I might venture out. The only problem with getting my nails done is that I have to make appointments. And I'm really bad at that. And, um, you know, I'm just, just bad at making appointments. Okay, and that's going to pop out like that. Okay. All right, that's that one. Okay, so where was I? I got all these pages. This is a little tuck in here. Okay, this one here, um, I want to make an envelope. And these we have pockets, which, where's my tag? I have tags that I've kind of made already. They've got, I've got to do the backs, and I want to sew around them. I don't know, do you think they're too short? This was out of cardboard that I had spare. All right, I'm going to leave those there. This is just going to stay that way. A little tab on there. A little ruffle there. That's a journaling page. Let's see what else I have. I have. I'm gonna put that on there. Obviously, it's not on yet. Okay. I wanted to get this sewed in too because I want to make sure I don't put too much ephemera in it. Okay. So. I think I'm going to make a vellum envelope out of this. And I was going to make it like this. So let's see. I made it seven and a half inches. Oh, I don't have my ruler. I don't know how they get buried all the time. Okay. Hmm. It's nine, nine and a quarter inches high. Okay. So, um, let me go down from this. We're going to have to cut the, uh, trim this off. And I think I'm just going to do it um, with my tear ruler. see my mark oh I had a blue ink in this and I I just I don't know if my hands are gonna tear these. I already lost one of these this morning I was vacuuming one of these nails I could never tear from that side anyways
So from that point, let's measure down nine and a quarter. It doesn't have to be exactly this. But I was so tired of my nails breaking, or it's, they're not, they're breaking, but it's more like just dry, um, um, it's hard to explain it. Okay, so, of course, this is not the right size. Let me just rip this off. do any kind of envelope I just I saw that in my ephemera thing so I decided to make it this would make a cute little tab to this one Let's save those for tabs okay so now we've got it ink it So I found all these little um, stickers and stuff that are architectural type designs, or I don't know, they're not really architectural, they're, I don't know what they are, they're just cool designs. Okay, so we're gonna make this, which one are we gonna make come up? Oh, this is ugly. Okay. I'm going to go this way. Then that'll be upside down. So we'll go that way. Then everything is correct. Okay. I'm just going to eyeball it here. get some fake ones to have to make an appointment okay then I'm gonna flip this down not yet I'm gonna fold this in like a half inch and I have to get my Still filming. So this bottom gets cut out. Right? Yeah. Even though this this envelope is really easy to make, I still can't remember how, how to do it. Sure. how far over I'm going. Oh, I'm shaking today. Uh, 
Okay, I set my timer for 20 minutes because I thought I would be done and ready to sew. That goes to show you how quick I am. I may have to make a part two. I could do that. Because okay. I want to get this journal done. Um, the last journal I did, um, uh, it just took, you know, it took a long time. And I would like to move on with some more stuff coming up. Okay, well, that's not very straight, but I don't think it matters. All right. Now, in this envelope, I had... I was thinking of making this a flip, um, but I don't have to. I can just clip it in. But I was thinking of making a window here. Um, what was that picture frame I had? Put this over here. Um, where did you go, picture frame? There it is. So I was thinking of just doing like a picture frame, although the writing is gonna go this way. Hmm. Let me think about it. Okay, so <clears throat> probably made it too big if it was sitting on a page. Yeah, see, I did it probably too big. I'm used to bigger, wider pages, but I think I could just move them. I can move this down a little bit. So if I was to put it on like this. And I didn't realize the writing would be going up and down. I guess it doesn't matter. And then the journal card would go in this way and show out on this side. So let me just find a journal card to see how that would look. something on the journal card that lines up with this frame and um, I feel like that's not enough stuff just a frame I have this frame too I think I like this this is Tim Holtz frame we could put I don't know I like that lamp post a lot I might put that on the front I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <sighs> I have to decide this before I glue it up. Let's see. Let's see what. I guess I could just figure out something. just doesn't this might look good on the back flap possibly hmm. all right I'm just gonna put a hole in here I don't know. I'm just going to do that because that's kind of what I wanted to do. And I let's see, if I do it maybe down a little bit, like I won't, then I'll have room to like do something here with labels or something. 
and I'll just make a journal card that will work. Okay. Um, so I'm going to trace around here. Cut this out. You know what? I better let me do something first. I better move this down. needed to go down a little bit and then I'll I'll put something over that flap up there or something show. Okay. And now I'll cut it I hope that's straight I need to bring a level in here so I can you know what? That's not straight. <sighs> okay. It's the outside line. I need to cut. Come on, open up. I'm gonna save that vellum, but. Sorry, I'm, I'm just concentrating on getting on this line. I don't want to mess it up. It's going to be like that, I'm thinking. And then the journal card would slip in there. Or I might just put it on the outside with the clip. And that way the journal card goes in easier, in and out. All right. So I don't know what I'm going to put inside yet. So let me, I'm just going to glue this in place. And I, whoops, I forgot you can't do this. I don't know why this is getting weird. I have to take these nails off <laughs> before the next video. I had nail polish on. I couldn't even get the nail polish off. That I remember the first time that I was uh, put this particular brand of nail polish on. It was so hard to get it off. And I thought, okay, well, I have Dollar Tree nail polish. That's why. And so I went and bought more expensive type. 
um, and it still wouldn't take it off. So I'm not using that nail polish anymore. I've never had a nail polish that you couldn't get. but oh, it stuck good. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to put that aside and then we'll come back to it. Um, yeah, because this is the way I do it, you know? So let me just set it in there and then we'll come back and, and figure out what else to do. So in the meantime, let's do... I've got this paper, since I still have time, I think, yeah, like 10, 10, 15 minutes. Um, I have this sticker, I have this window, I have this journal card. And I wanted to put that, I don't know which page it, I want it on, but I'm, I think I wanted it on this page. one of the I think it was this page I could still move these pages around but I guess it doesn't really matter at this point what page but um, so I'm going to glue this to one side of this this um, this journal card is not very strong I bought um, at the thrift store. I didn't get to find very much the other day when I had to go to the other side of town. And yeah, there was very little to choose from. Yeah, let's try to get the numbers in there. Utilize the rest of the paper. I think that needs to go over. Okay. So I bought these um, envelopes with, um, you know, like people used to buy for making invitations at home. You could print on them. Had the card stock, like um, five by eight maybe or something. So I coffee dyed a bunch of the card stock because I thought it made a perfect journal card size, tag size. I'm going to sew around this. Oops. All right, so I have this, where's it at? The stool. This was given to me by Alicia, and I just loved it, but I had no place to, you know, put it at the time, so I want to use it. Mm, it's kind of wrinkled up. So I don't, let's see how it comes off of here. Oh. That's a good trash to treasure thing. And let's see, this comes off here. Um, 
and I want him to sit on top. So I'm gonna kind of get an idea of where I want the top of this chair to go. I don't know if I should have inked around that or not. I don't think I needed to. And then this guy, I'll ink around him. And he was perfect to sit on this chair out of all the little Tim Holt things I had. And see, because he looks like he's really sitting on a bar stool, I think. I thought about putting this window behind. Um, nope, I can't. Um... I should have put this window behind the bar stool. I don't think I can get that up now. Not with these nails. Oh, wait a minute. Yep, I can. Okay. Let's see if we did. I don't want to lay it down because it might stick. Yeah, I think I'm just going to put that window and the, put this stool right on, on top of it. Okay, just stay there. Oh, this will all be fun. This was the problem with nails. <sighs> This is, um, <laughs> this is my nails. I didn't anticipate this. Oh. It's, it's fun to be old, you know, because it doesn't matter. Right? <laughs> my friends aren't going to care if I'm wearing fake nails. <laughs> or whatever I'm doing. I hope this all blends together because it's kind of a different color tone. I think I'm just going to put it right next to that line. I know it's on the paper straight. And then I'm going to put him on there. And then we'll put maybe a word or something down below. I don't know what. But I also wanted to... to put corners so that oh, I have these open somewhere. So I want to put corners so that this will slide in and then you can pull out the and I'm going to color those black. So let's I guess we'll just glue him on because I don't think I'm going to change any of that. I have to find a nice little saying to go under it. Sitting on top of the world or <laughs> something. Okay. Um. Let me get my black alcohol ink pen. My nails will be done in with these. I thought I had some already black. It's not. So these little guys, you can make them any color you want. If it's not the right color you need. So I just use alcohol ink because that's what I have. Handy and I don't have any um, markers in here. Just 
alcohol ones, which I hardly ever use. I thought I would use them a lot more. Maybe it's because I don't do much mixed media, but when I was doing cards, it, people, oh God, I did it all that. When I was doing cards, people were coloring in like stamps and things. But it bleeds so bad through that. I didn't like that. All right. I still got to sew around these. See a little white spot. I'm gonna go back with my. Marker. I think these corners are just, I don't know. They just um, add so much character. down. I didn't want it to stick somewhere. I don't think I'm going to, well, I'm, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to do a video tomorrow because my friend is coming, uh, a couple friends, uh, to do some sewing. She hasn't been here for such a long time because of my mom. All right, so that's just, I'm gonna just set this in here. And if these come up, I'll just put some other glue. I don't wanna glue them yet. I should have went out a little more. It's like pretty close to the. Oh my gosh. Last time I did this, I actually glued them on and maybe I should have. Everything is, you don't know what's crooked, your paper, your whatever. Okay, I think that's good. Isn't that cute? I don't even know if this is going to go here. I may change my mind and put it someplace else, but um, <laughs> I think that's cute. And, and I'm going to sew around that. And then we just need a word. How much time do I have? Oh, a couple minutes. Let's see if we can find... In the Tim Holtz um, book, in the black, um, today's a good day, um, nothing like a dream to create the future, a dream is a wish your heart makes, life is good, hmm. um, be brave with your life. Um, those who don't believe in magic will never find it. <laughs> um, stronger than yesterday. I kind of like that. I mean, it just, um, collect beautiful moments. Hmm. 
I don't know. What meanings they have for me could be different than everybody else. Um, I can just put life is good. Um, about today is full of possibilities. If I just, now oh, that's going to be sewed. I'm going to sew around there too. Hmm. All right. I guess I'll sew around it first and then come back. Unless I do something short. Come what may. Hello, my darling. No, come what may. Hmm. This should not be this difficult. one thing it's too white all right I'm just gonna stick this here because I know I can get these off if I don't like it if I don't put glue on it and I won't until I know okay yeah I'm okay with that <laughs> all right I like that all right, so I think I'm out of time. Yes, I am. So I will um, finish, you know, working on a few of these pieces and or come back in a part two and do some more um, ephemera pieces, decorate these. Kind of wanted to decorate and then sew because I might want to sew, um, you know, over something. But... Uh, it'll it'll be. I think it's gonna be cute. I really like it. I hope you guys will like it. And it's pretty much uh, made out of things that I have, except those few digital papers that I did print. Um, but things that I just, you know, like this, I've had for a long time. Never been able to use it. So. Okay, thanks for watching, and um, like I said, I might be back for a part two. I'm not sure. All right, thank you. Bye.